how bad is Botox if you have Hashimoto's and a thyroid condition? So let's have a conversation. I'm a call. I'll put my credentials below, but there is not a black and white answer to this. Okay. If you want to be an extremist, if you want to do everything perfectly, the best thing to do is to not get Botox. Okay. Like that's the easiest thing. I personally and professionally in my clinical practice am not an extremist and I don't advocate for that. I also don't ask patients to do things I don't do myself. So here's my answer for me personally. So let's think of inflammation like water in a cup or green juice in a jar, okay? Every bit of inflammation that we get drops a drop of green juice or water in, in the cup, okay? We do not experience symptoms or autoimmune disease until the cup overflows. Our body is meant to deal with this much inflammation. Inflammation is inevitable, right? We're exposed to inflammation every day. So the trick is to, to stay below the cup's height of water so that you don't trigger this eruption of autoimmunity and symptomatic inflammatory responses, right? So how you choose to drop inflammation or get rid of inflammation from your cup is your choice, but we all have some bandwidth for that. In some seasons, less than others. But for most people, me personally, I choose to eat really well, to take care of my body, to work on my detox pathways. That doesn't keep my cup full. My Hashimoto's has been in remission for 12 years or more. Um, I also choose to do Botox, right? So I don't do all the things that are gonna promote inflammation and cause a Hashimoto's reaction, but I pick and choose the ones that are most important to me. I actually don't advocate for trying to have no water in your cup. Water in your cup's inevitable. And again, we're meant to deal with it. And it needs to be a sustainable lifestyle. Living a perfect lifestyle 100% of the time is not sustainable. Now to each his own, right? If not having wrinkles on your face isn't really important to you, then don't do Botox, like, because you're gonna give and take in other areas of your life. So again, realistic expectations and choose your own priorities. Of course, abstaining is the best, but that's not what I do personally.